Okay, one thing I forgot to talk about in terms of equipment when doing film development is uh, my beloved massive dev chart app that I use on my iPhone. So the iPhone is a piece of equipment you can live without it, use a kitchen timer or whatever, but an iPhone or an Android uh, with this massive dev chart uh, app on it, that will just make your life so easy. As you can see the temperature is 68 and I'm just going to say that therefore my water is at 68 degrees. So I have to um, consider that when I'm uh, looking at my development times. So I'm going to start it up and uh, kind of show you a little bit about it and uh, hopefully I'll make some sense. This is from a prior run so I'm going to reset and then I'm going to go back. You can see I was developing uh, Rolly Retro 80. Okay so at the top I'm in the just the the main sort of tab of dev chart. You can create your own custom times which I've done quite a bit of you can see or you can uh, you know use uh, the the built-in uh, times from the massive dev charts uh, database. So in the cross top they have tabs for 35 millimeter 120 inch sheet. I'm going to be doing a roll of 120 and that 120 film is Tri-X. So I shot that film. I made myself a note that I shot it at 200 even though it's an ISO 400 film. So I'm going to have to set up a custom development for this and take my temperature into account as well. So I'm going to go down to uh, I think maybe it's just under yeah it's just under Tri X and uh, you see they have two entries I'm going to choose Tri X 400 the 320 version isn't made anymore and I usually develop in Rodinal and so here you can see there are several uh, development processes for Rodinal and different uh, recommended speeds for the dilution of rodinol. Lately I've been using uh, lower dilutions. Um, so I'm going to do 1 plus 25 at ISO 400. Now I'm not really developing it at 400, but what I want to do is see what the development time is. Note that it says 7 minutes at 68. That happens to be my development temperature in the um, dark room or dark bathroom. So that's cool, I don't have to adjust this, but the software does have the capability to do that. Now what I wish they would do is when you're doing basically EI adjustments, meaning you expose the film at a different exposure index than the film is rated at, and that's what I've done with this roll. I, I exposed it at 200, so it's overexposed by a stop. I wish they would build that in so I could say I did plus one exposure and it would automatically reduce my development time by uh, 20% or Actually, it would be best if I could tell the software uh, for each stop, apply this percentage. Anyway, I'm going to have to calculate it myself. I'm going to do a 10% reduction. I've been experimenting a bit. I used to do 20% reductions. Uh, lately, I've done 10% reductions and had good uh, experience. So because I overexposed, I need to underdevelop, and I'm going to underdevelop by 10% of the recommended time at my temperature. So I need to subtract 10% from 7 minutes, and that's going to be my development time. Now, if you underexposed, or I'm sorry, if you overexposed by, say, two stops, you need to reduce by your reduction percentage twice. When you do that, you don't do it by adding the percentages up. For example, if I overexpose by two stops, I would reduce my development time by 10% and then by another 10%, not by 20%. It's not the same thing. Um, I used a calculator and as it turns out, a reduction of 10% on seven minutes is uh, six minutes and I believe it was 13 seconds. Maybe it was 18. Um, yeah, it'd have to be 18. So. Uh, that would be 6 minutes and 18 seconds. And so I'm going to create myself a custom setup here. Now what I did was basically make a favorite by pressing that star. Now you can edit it. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change my development time. And this is a really nice feature. I just wish they would calculate it for you. Now you see why I wish that. Uh, so 6 minutes 
18 seconds. That's my new development time. The temperature is 68. Here's where you could tell it to convert time and temperature. So if I was developing at 69 degrees, that would cut development time a little bit. You know, the, the warmer it is, the less development time you need. But I'm at 68, so I don't really need to fool with that. And these two separate development times are for two bath developers like Diafine. But I don't have that in this case. I'm using Rodenol, so there's no changes there. So I'm going to save this. Now I'm ready to go. What you can also see here is that Massive Dev Chart has calculated based on my 1 plus 25 dilution of Rodinol, exactly how much I need. And uh, I use 600 milliliters of uh, mix when I'm doing my development, so it's telling me I need 23 milliliters of Rodinol and 577 milliliters of water. So that's very convenient too, that it calculates your dilution for you. I have set some defaults in here. You'll notice that I have it set to, oops, You'll notice that I have it set to an agitation scheme of 30 seconds to start, plus 10 seconds every two minutes. Um, most development schemes use agitation every one minute. I've experimented over time and have landed on two minutes for me. Uh, my theory is it holds down grain a bit. I don't have any scientific proof of this, but two minutes has been working for me. So I was able to set up a custom scheme in the software, which is a really nice feature. So I'm basically ready to go here. Uh, it will time development for me. I'll hit start and then I'll start my development process and then as each phase goes through it'll start timing again. My stop, my fixing, rinsing I ignore. I have a technique I use for that that I'll show later. So that's how you get started and when I'm, let's, let's just pretend that I'm developing film here, uh, I'll hit start and then I start agitating. Actually I pour my chemical in and start agitating and uh, this is smart enough to See how it's kind of shrinking and growing, pulsing? That's agitation time. So then when I'm done agitating, this will stop pulsing and it'll let me know with a few clicks um, that it's time to start agitating again when the cycle comes up. So this is a very nice software. You can see how useful it is.